if I can do this one handed. That is one rusty floor pan out. Got a couple spots up here in the top, just above the shifter in the corner there. I'll have to patch up, but overall, I'm very pleased with how this pan came out. You know, you do this half a dozen times and uh, it gets a little easier. Oh, and I also have a patch I gotta do on the, uh, the heater too. Uh, something I think is awesome is it's folded up, but I almost extracted this old pan. Almost extracted this pan completely as one piece. That with the old uh, Gerson Classic Fab is going to be hooking us up with a nice, fun nice funky green panel. There's the other side coming from the passenger door. You can see where I boogered it up right here. So I'll have to weld that stuff back up. But uh, that's all part of the process anyway. Because uh, I have to polish all this stuff clean. Um, for when it comes to weld time in the new pan. Uh, pretty simplistic on how this stuff attaches to the body itself. Uh, of course, on the seats, wheel wells, arches, you have this interior lip. Uh, and that's replicated as well. This dog is getting cut out. I'm just leaving this one along with the driver for reference. That way I can measure everything. Because the only one in the market is Clocker Home that makes this uh, outer portion without selling the entire uh, dog leg arch, which this bus does not need because this bus is very dry. Uh, so this is there just for mock-up and measuring purposes, but you can see this flange, and this is what, and this, these welds here, this is the <clears throat> this is the flange in which the floor pan actually attaches to, uh, and it continues along this panel here, and then of course on the driver's side, um, wheel, wheel arch as well. Um, you have, I don't know, probably 12 welds in the center portion area here that retains the center of the front pan down uh, along the uh, emergency brake le uh, lever. Uh, and then also that this here is the, uh, is the hockey stick uh, linkage for the shifter. Um, still got to drop that steering box, disconnect the steering box with the pitman arm, get that off the drag link drop our clutch and brake levers um, and uh, clean this, this stuff up. But um, <clears throat> that is an extracted front floor pan out of a 1973 Volkswagen bus. Um, take your time. Um, the tools I use, of course, was a hammer and a chisel, but the proper way to do that, I have my air chisel there, and then also what works wonders um, these are Harbor Freight cheapy, Cheapies. This is the second one I bought, but I used the snot out of the first one. So for 28 bucks, I'm not messed up about it. Just bought this this morning. This is a nibbler, air nibbler. Basically, it's got a a cutting, reciprocating cutting blade in there, and under power, you're able to direct the um, the cut you are wanting to replicate or what to cut out. Uh, and that's what I use actually to fold this section up. You can see those sharp lines that I cut there. That was just to gain access to busting the rest of the welds to the frame uh, chassis rails with the air chisel. Uh, but the nibbler is actually what I use along this top line here where I cut the windshield repair section that I'm gonna be dropping in and welding in. I use it to cut that. So uh, some pretty simplistic tools. Uh, there's learning curve, understanding and knowing where the welds are to begin with. Um, basically, it's, it's, it's straightforward. Uh, it follows the perimeter here, like I was mentioning on the other side. You have some wells and stuff in the center, uh, which is really just for reinforcement structural purposes, uh, crash purposes, stuff like that. Uh, the toughest area is actually along this line here. It's so easy, like you see here, it's so easy to booger this up. Now you can come through here and the proper way would be to have a, a drill, or they make tools and stuff to drill out. Um, spot welds which i don't own that tool i can go through and use a drill bit and pop these suckers out but i found once you actually remove the um seam sealer from the bottom you know if you're laying down underneath the bus 
looking up. Uh, all that seam seal, which is what this mess here still is. This is the seam sealer. Uh, if you get that out of the way, you can actually come up with the air chisel. Uh, I uh, kind of open the flange up from up top with the air chisel coming down very, very gently. Uh, and then came through the bottom to open this stuff up. Uh, and the pan really came out um, fairly easy. So we went from a rusty floor pan with some holes in it to no floor pan to uh, some exposed body chassis rails. This thing's going to get cleaned up and um, patch a couple holes I made. Not quite the gorilla like I was the first time. A little bit more methodical this time, which is what you want. Um, yeah, this is a doable job. Um, so, 73 bus, old floor pan, nasty. We're going to have it proper.